Dubai, we all know it for its fancy buildings, beautiful beaches, and exciting things to do. But what if I told you there's another side to Dubai? A side with a little more mystery and maybe even a sprinkle of danger. Today, we will explore the top 10 surprising places in Dubai that most tourists wouldn't dare visit. We're not talking about anything super scary, but maybe a hidden market with unique finds or an abandoned spot with a cool history. So hit that like button, subscribe for more adventures, and get ready to see a different side of Dubai desert areas. Dubai's city center boasts impressive sights, but venturing beyond offers unique experiences. However, it's important to prioritize safety. The vast desert, a major attraction, can be unforgiving. Extreme temperatures, especially during the scorching summer months, necessitate proper hydration, sun protection, and avoiding midday excursions. Getting lost is a real possibility due to the disorienting desert landscape. Always go with a reputable guide who understands the terrain and carries a GPS device. While wildlife encounters are rare, be aware of your surroundings and follow your guide's instructions regarding snakes or scorpions. Be mindful that cell phone service may be unreliable in remote areas. So let someone know your travel plans and expected return time in case of emergencies. Construction sites. Dubai is always growing, which is amazing to see, but construction sites can be dangerous. These areas are closed to the public for a reason. There's a lot of danger lurking. Big machines like cranes and bulldozers can cause serious injuries, and unfinished buildings can have things falling off them or have open pits and exposed wires. Construction zones are also busy places with lots of moving vehicles and materials, so it's best to just admire them from afar. By staying out of these areas and letting the professionals do their work, you can stay safe and avoid interrupting their important projects. Busy roads and highways. Dubai's energy is contagious, pulsing through its busy roads and vibrant nightlife scene. But to ensure a smooth and enjoyable experience, safety should always be your top priority. Navigating the city's impressive highways can be tempting, but remember, they're not racetracks. Stick to the speed limits, keep a safe distance between vehicles, and be mindful of potentially reckless drivers. Focus on your own driving and avoid distractions like using your phone. If you prefer to relax and avoid the stress of driving, Dubai boasts a fantastic public transportation system with metros, trams, and buses, nightclubs, and bars. Dubai's nightlife is equally diverse, offering chic cocktail bars and high-energy nightclubs. Researching the venue beforehand ensures you choose a place that suits your vibe. Sticking with your group throughout the evening and having a designated meeting point is important. Remember, Dubai has strict laws regarding alcohol consumption, so be responsible and know your limits. It's always best to avoid drinking and driving altogether. While petty theft is uncommon, keeping an eye on your belongings in crowded areas is wise. Finally, trust your gut. If you feel uncomfortable, don't hesitate to leave. Security personnel are typically present, so feel free to approach them if needed. By following these simple safety tips, you can fully experience the excitement of Dubai's offerings and ensure a memorable and enjoyable trip. Industrial areas. Places like Al Quos and some parts of Dara are bustling with commercial and industrial activity. Al Quos, for instance, is known for its mix of industrial workshops, factories, and art galleries. While this area has a burgeoning art scene with galleries like Al Sirkal Avenue, it can also be chaotic due to the heavy traffic of trucks and commercial vehicles. Streets might be narrower and more congested compared to the more tourist-friendly parts of Dubai. Similarly, Dara, one of the oldest parts of Dubai, has areas that are heavily commercial, with many wholesale markets, warehouses, and traditional souks. These areas can be crowded, noisy, and less clean than the modern parts of the city. While generally safe, the hustle and bustle can be overwhelming, and the infrastructure is not as developed, making it less comfortable for tourists seeking a more typical Dubai experience. Jebel Ali. Jebel Ali is a large industrial area that is home to the Jebel Ali port, one of the largest ports in the world, and numerous factories, warehouses, and logistics companies. This area is crucial for Dubai's economy, but is not a tourist destination. The vast expanse of industrial buildings, shipping containers, and heavy machinery can feel desolate and intimidating, especially at night when the area becomes largely deserted. 
While the roads and facilities are well-maintained, the lack of pedestrian-friendly infrastructure and the overwhelming presence of industrial activity make it less appealing for casual visitors. Additionally, the area's remoteness from central Dubai means fewer amenities like restaurants, shops, or attractions that tourists typically look for. For safety reasons, it's best to visit Jebel Ali for specific purposes, such as business or port-related activities, rather than leisure. Public beaches at night. While public beaches in Dubai are generally safe during the day, they can be less secure at night. Beaches like Jumeirah Beach and Kite Beach, which are popular and well-patrolled during the day, see significantly fewer visitors and security personnel after sunset. The reduced visibility and isolation can make these areas more susceptible to petty crimes, such as theft. Additionally, swimming at night can be hazardous due to the lack of lifeguards and poor visibility in the water. There may also be a higher risk of encountering individuals engaging in questionable activities after dark. To ensure safety, it is advisable to avoid isolated areas, stick to well-lit and populated sections of the beach, and always keep personal belongings secure and within sight. Satwa Satwa is a densely populated area known for its budget-friendly accommodation and vibrant multicultural atmosphere. It is a hub for expatriates and is characterized by its bustling streets, numerous shops, and diverse eateries. However, Satwa has also been noted for its higher incidence of petty theft and minor crimes compared to other parts of Dubai. While the area is generally safe during the day, visitors should exercise caution, particularly at night. The narrow streets and crowded conditions can create opportunities for pickpocketing and other petty crimes. It is advisable to remain vigilant avoid displaying valuable items, and be cautious when withdrawing money from ATMs. Sticking to well-lit and busier areas can help mitigate risks, and always being aware of your surroundings will enhance personal safety in Satwa. Labor camps. Areas where labor camps are located, such as parts of Sonapur, also known as Muhaisna, can be less appealing and potentially unsafe for visitors, particularly at night. These camps are home to many of the city's migrant workers, who live in densely populated and often substandard conditions. The infrastructure in these areas may not be as developed or well-maintained as in other parts of Dubai, with limited amenities and services available. Visitors may find the environment in labor camp areas to be quite different from the more polished and tourist-friendly parts of the city. The presence of large groups of workers, particularly during shift changes, can be overwhelming and the lack of street lighting and security at night can make these areas feel unsafe. It's best to avoid these areas unless you have a specific reason to visit, such as for humanitarian work or a guided tour. Always ensure you are accompanied by someone familiar with the location and remain cautious and respectful of the residents. Old Dubai areas. While areas like Daira and Bur Dubai are rich in culture and history, some parts can be more chaotic and less modernized compared to the rest of Dubai. Dera, known for its traditional markets such as the Gold Souk and Spice Souk, offers a glimpse into Dubai's past, but can also be crowded and overwhelming, especially for first-time visitors. The narrow streets and dense traffic can make navigation challenging, and the hustle and bustle can create opportunities for pickpocketing and minor scams. Bur Dubai, home to historical sites like the Dubai Museum and Al Fahadi Historic District, also features older buildings and a lively street scene. While these areas are generally safe during the day, it's advisable to exercise caution, especially at night. The reduced visibility and lower foot traffic can make some streets feel less secure. Staying aware of your surroundings, avoiding isolated areas, and keeping valuables secure can help ensure a safe and enjoyable visit to these culturally rich parts of Dubai. All right, and while well, adventurers, we've reached the end of our exploration through Dubai's surprising, maybe a touch thrilling hidden spots? Did any of these places pique your curiosity? If you're looking for more off the beaten path adventures, smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for more exciting discoveries. Don't forget to leave a comment below and tell us what hidden corners of Dubai you'd love to explore next. Until next time, stay curious and stay safe.